Welcome in fellow travelers. My name is Maria at Indigo Earth, here to do a general reading for Leo signs. Leo, ruled by the sun. Self-expression and can be egoic in nature. Nature, you are here to be seen. I will to impress. Welcome in cross watchers. You could be here because you are connected to or have a Leo in your life that you are dealing with. So feel free to swap around the characters. This message could actually be for you in regards to your person that you're dealing with. As always, time is fluid. Therefore, whenever you come across this message, if the title drew you in, you are using your discernment and your intuition. Could be a day from now, could be a month from now, could be a year from now. Whenever you come across this and you felt drawn into it, it was a time that you were meant to see it. As always, if you like the content I create, please like, subscribe, and share. It helps the channel grow. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. So, what am I missing? Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I will have an extended. The link will be at the video below where I will go more into depth of the reading. Look at any elements of zodiac signs that show up in the reading, as well as tendencies that need to be released and um, energies that need to be embraced. Messages and advice for you. So. Let's see where we go, Leo. For the overall theme of the reading right now, we've got the Three of Discs, Celebration, and we have the Fool, Letting Go of the Baggage, Surrender, Moving Forward, Starting Anew. We have the Ten of Wands drop out too. So that could be releasing some sort of burdens and going into something that you feel more celebratory, supportive. I'm gonna take that since it popped up. So your overall energy, two of wands, starting with a new inspiration, new hopes, new dreams, new visions. That's your current energy, your situation, eight of cups, moving into something that more emotionally serves you, maybe starting on a, um, an inner journey um, walking away from something that no longer emotionally serves you, your situation or your opportunity is the King of Swords, getting real clear, keen sense of awareness. Um, the King of Swords is all about justice and what's right. Very truthful, getting very truthful and very honest. Doesn't show a whole lot of emotion, but is fair. What you are co-creating with the universe is the Ace of Swords. Stepping into your power, your authenticity in truth and in awareness. Energies that surround you that you might not be aware of. Eight of Wands, that's fast moving energy that's also about communication coming in. What's coming in in the present future. Ten of Swords. Cycle ending, new one beginning. This is the end of a karmic cycle. This also has to do with um, surrender. Surrender. This might have to do with um, this might have to do with addictions. This might have to do with excess. This might have to do with releasing things that have held you down and kept you in bondage. Energies from the recent past. Nine of Swords, fear, anxiety, sleepless nights, something really bothering you, not being able to release it, repetitive thoughts, how you show up in the world, Seven of Discs, Seven of Pentacles, someone who's kind of stable, someone who works hard, um, someone who kind of tends his own garden. Seven of Pentacles is someone who's just kind of like you're going through the day-to-day -day things in life. Going through, you get up, you go to work, you come home, you, you know, eat, what, whatever that structure is for you. Just very methodical. 
what's right in front of you. Six of Wands. Moving forward, leaving something behind. Overcoming. Rising above. So you can see this bird has one hand or one foot on the ground and one foot getting ready to take flight. So overcoming something. Hopes and fears, five of swords, maybe having to face conflict, other people's opinions, maybe competitive in nature. These are kind of those energies of like having to fight your way through something. Those are your hopes and fears and your outcome is five of cups. We'll get some clarity on that. Five of cups is um, grief, sadness, loss. Going through a grieving period. This could be about a victim mentality too. So we'll get some clarity on that. <clears throat> but you're releasing things and moving forward, releasing a lot of this past baggage so that you can go to your happy place where you feel celebrated. So let's see what the Two of Wands is. That's the energy that you are showing up in right now. It's about new inspiration, new ideas, taking a new path, following a different road. Let's see what that's about, Two of Wands. Two of Wands. Three of Wands, desire and manifestation in something that is speaks more about your truth and your authenticity. Because you got the Three of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Six of Cups. Something maybe that you've always wanted to do or remember from childhood. Something that really sparked your interest that maybe you've lost sight of or let go of. Because you've got the Two of Wands, which is the wish, and the Three of Wands, which is the manifestation. And it's taking all Queen of Wands as somebody or Queen of Swords as somebody who takes all her experiences and she brings them together to kind of for her vitality, her empowerment to work for her. And this could be something kind of a dream that you may have had from childhood, childhood dreams. Let's see what the Eight of Cups is, moving away from that which no longer emotionally serves you, moving towards that which does. That is your situation. Clarity on the Eight of Cups, please. You got the Chariot moving forward. You got the Six of Cups, or Six of Pentacles, into something that's more stable and balanced and giving. And you got a Prince of Cup, the Prince of Cups. Um, something that sets your heart on fire, something that gives you more, working more from your heart space of giving and receiving, something that fulfills you more emotionally. Whatever that is, I don't know, you would know. So put the pieces of the puzzle together. Let's find out what this 10 of swords is. Energy's coming in. You may have to leave some things go. We have the princess of cups. Something that's more fulfilling for your heart. Releasing and letting go of the baggage. Prince of Cups with this Eight of Swords. And the King of Cups. So you got the Prince of Cups and the King of Cups. So wanting something, wanting something, because you got the Eight of Swords in here. So this could be about self-sabotage. Maybe guilt and fear is holding you back from wanting to go forward in something that's more truthful and expresses of, expressive of you because you're carrying, a lot of, you're carrying around a lot of mind thought about maybe guilt and fear and shame, but your heart is driving you forward. That pull in your heart is driving you forward into something else the fool, you're going to have to release some of that that brings you more into a 
um, energy field of where you're celebrated and being celebrated and you're working with people of like-minded mentality. So let's get clarity on this Ace of Swords up here, what the universe is working on with you, something that brings you more into your authenticity. Because your hopes and fears is having to having to face some sort of conflict. By rising above the mundane. Maybe they don't do that in your area. Maybe in, in your, your way of um, kind of growing up or how you handle things or the community that you're in. It's just, you know, how you go through life on a day-to-day -day basis is what's it what's expected of you so ace of swords please and to break out of that mold would seem like rebellious strength lovers three of swords so this ace of swords is about Finding your inner resolve in regards maybe to a relationship and a relationship could be anything like your relationship with your work, your relationship with your community, your relationship with your family, your relationship with your siblings, your relationship with your children, your relationship with friends, your relationship with um, a significant other. This is really about finding your inner strength to deal with maybe some heartbreak in the past, something that has hurt your heart but pushing you to go towards your own truth and your own authenticity, something that feels right for you. So let's see what this, um, let's go with this Five of Cups is for the outcome. What is the Five of Cups here? For Leo's, the outcome. Got a bunch of cards that jumped out. Ace of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Princess of Wands. This is all about inspiration. What inspires you to build a new foundation for yourself. Because the foundation that you're in right now, yeah, you're tending to your own garden, but you're just kind of methodically going through the motions. And this is more about feeling like feeling like you've lost something within yourself. You've lost something within yourself, maybe that drive or that spark or that, that space inside your heart that you want to do something that's more creative and passionate and desirable. And you want to do it to be it like builds your income. Build your income. You want to do it as like a career. You want to do it to like build your family, build your foundation, build your structure. And it's really going to take some creative thought process and some drive to go forth to accomplish that or to achieve that. And you may have some conflict coming in about that. Some competitiveness. So I'm going to get one more here on what's coming in with the Six of Wands rising above. What does that mean? What does that look like for you, Leos? Got a lot of cups showing up in here. Cups and fire. Fire energy. So I will look at cups in the extended as well. But let's see what this six of wands is. And then we will get a card for you from the universe. Yep, eight of um, eight of pentacles. Working hard, planting your seeds, staying focused, staying focused on where you want to go. This is about craftsmanship, building your um, building your inherent nature. Yep, choices, two of pentacles, and ace of cups. This is definitely about something that's in your heart space that you want to move forward to. 
This is about taking the initiative. This could be about going back to school. This could be about, you know, finding something to help lift you up into this area and working hard and staying focused, making a decision to move forward. Two of Pentacles. That fills your heart space. That gives you drive, that gives you ambition, that gives you um, kind of a sense of why you're here showing up in the world. What is your purpose? Gives you a sense of purpose. So let's get a message from the sacred creators from the universe. For you, Leos. Moving towards your heart space. Moving towards that which fulfills you. Celebrate your wins, choose who you're becoming. Celebrate your wins and choose who you are becoming. You got two cards. Let's look at celebrate your wins. A time to list your accomplishments, allowing praise and feeling deep pride, knowing that you are deserving of positive attention. Acting as if wins, this is your self-care message, things you need to release. Acting as if wins are no big deal, focusing on what didn't work instead of what did. Not taking the time to see what's working, being overly salesy instead of drawing people in through celebrating your process. You're not sharing genuine excitement for your project. See the progress you've made because you've come a long way. It can be far too easy to ruminate on what's not working. As a result, some of your amazing work gets shrugged up, shrugged off, downplayed, or downright missed. And you are able to see the tremendous strides you've taken. It's okay to boast and flaunt a little. How easily can you communicate your triumphs with others? Do you invite them to partake in your celebration? This card isn't a suggesting a fugly, pushy, salesy, look at me kind of cockadoodle do. It's talking about honesty, enthusiasm, sharing your wins in order to energetic, energetically bring you more of the same. And then choosing who you are becoming. This is similar to Aries. You might want to look at the Aries message because it's they got the choose who you are becoming as well. So a choice, here you go, that's right here. Energy's coming in, a choice. This is your meaning. The duality of right and wrong, choosing the path towards your future self, taking the reins, didn't you get that? Okay, taking the reins and leading the way, committing to one path and allowing spirit to deliver your dream. Your self-care message, not making a choice, delays, playing it safe, straddling two average paths instead of stepping into one extraordinary trail. The future belongs to who you are becoming. It's time to make a choice that will allow you to grow into the most beautiful version of you. This card is about the movement you make as you chase your dreams and the person you become along the way. You may feel blocked until you take inspired action toward one goal. It's time to move forward as a sacred creator. Your decisive and determined action will be a way for you to, de to define your desire to the universe. Run in the direction of your dreams, confidently unfolding your path in front of you. Make strides towards your dreams now. So Leo, that's what I have for you. If you're going on with me in the extended, the link is below. If not, until next time, I wish you the peace that passes all understanding. Bye-bye.